Hello and welcome to the homestead. Today is day four working on our garden fence and it is absolutely beautiful out here. We are just about done. All I have to do is wire the ends of the panels together and I also need to wire some paneling to this gate to keep smaller animals from ducking through our gate as well as over the summer and probably into the fall we'll be keeping our pigs in our garden. That's just for this year. Next year, Lord willing, this will be our homestead garden. But we have a lot of work to get that ready. So the pigs are going to be our first line of tearing up the prairie sod and getting us going on our garden. Now yesterday our battery died and we were getting ready to finish this hinge pin and we had a little trouble getting it to stay threaded. So it's possible someday we will have to put a bolt through hinge pin, but for now, this gate will work for our garden. So I'm getting ready to cut these panels to put on the gate, but you always want to wear hearing protection anytime you're using any kind of machines, cutting anything, because if you damage your hearing, you'll never get it back again. Now I cut off the ends on the long panel so that we're not storing a partial panel that has all of these sharp spikes sticking off the end. So the cutoff pieces will just go into the recycle bin or the trash and then we don't have to, to deal with any sharp edges just sticking out where our kids could run into them. I'm choosing to put the panels on the inside of the garden for two reasons. One, I don't want to have to look at a panel on the outside of my gate. And two, because we're putting the pigs in the garden for the summer, uh, the gate is going to have the most pressure uh, between us coming in and going with the food and things like that, that I don't want to have to deal with pigs pushing out on the gate. So having the panel on the inside will prevent them from pushing it out and off and away from the gate. So let's get started. Now I am putting the factory edge of the panel that was the, the very end of the panel on the opening for the reason that the factory edge tends to be less sharp than the hand cut side, so that's what I'm doing on this gate. All right, that should get us started. So this is not going to be a rabbit proof, rabbit proof fence, but hopefully it will discourage deer and other larger animals from prowling around in the garden. I'm just going to wire it up top here on this vertical piece and that will allow me to not have this top section flying away from the gate itself. Oh, I cut those too long. Follow my advice and use a previously cut section. You want to make sure that you have your wires pointing away from where you would be snagging it with your hand or your clothing because you sure don't want to get torn open by a piece of wire. I'm going to do the same thing with this panel. My hand cut pieces 
could possibly have some sharper edges than the factory edge. And so I will also put the factory edge closest to the point of where I would be touching it. I'm going to do the same thing again on this other panel as I did on the first, but I'll show you how we do the twist. I'm going to get it centered. You just make a U shape out of your wire, put it around the back side of where you're trying to twist your wire, crisscross, kind of a fist shape, I suppose. And then you grab those two tabs and pull out all the while you're squeezing. Now you want to twist in the direction that your wires are crossed. See how it's crisscrossed? Now let me show you again. You make a U shape out of your wire, put it around the back side of the spot you're trying to wire, crisscross them so that you can grab both of those little tails with your lineman's pliers. Grab both sides, kind of pull out all the while you're twisting and stop short of snapping that little junction right there. It will snap. If you twist it too many times, it will snap. Now I'm not too concerned about this panel scratching the gate. It is just powder coated. It will not survive living on the homestead. It, it will rust out eventually. The gate will have to be replaced eventually. Even galvanized gates don't last forever. So 14 gauge wire, lineman's pliers. These are truly the homesteaders duct tape and bailing wire setup for wiring just about anything. Now we have these panels supported about every eight feet and they are attached to the T-posts with the standard T-post clips and then at the end of a panel where the two panels join each other, one of the panels is actually physically clipped to a T-post. So we have a good support every eight feet even though two ends of the panels are just wired together there is still support right there at the end of each panel. Well, I finished all the wiring and the wind is picking up pretty good. We're supposed to get some snow and rain tonight. So I got to get inside and make supper and I got to do a few other things out here before I can go inside. But I wanted to show you the wiring that I did at the end of the panels. So you just twisted the ends and tightened it up. There's four on every junction where there's two panel ends. And for the time being, that should hold. I haven't ever had any trouble except cows busting through. So we'll see how this goes. And like I said, this is just to keep deer out of the garden. And if we need to add something for rabbits later on, then we sure will do that.